Okay, I've got something very different uh, today to show. I um, showed a uh, CFL circuit in a normal Bedini uh, drive yesterday, and today I took the CFL part of the ignition coil off and just put two wires and made like a spark tower off of the ignition coil. And this is what I showed yesterday was the uh, CFL uh, circuit in the negative part of the charge on a Bedini SSG. And today I just took the um, the bulb part off of the ignition coil and put this spark tower and uh, to show the uh, high voltage that's coming off of this coil that's in series with the charge battery. Now the, the system is right here. It's running right now and I have a standard Bedini SSG right here and it's running charging uh, a charge battery from a source battery. These are 12 volt batteries and uh, I've got uh, the thing going straight into the charge battery and bypassing the ignition coil. This is the ignition coil here with the little spark tower. It's like a Jacob's ladder almost and I'm bypassing this right now. I'm going around the coil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the coil in series to the charge battery and I'm going to show high voltage using this little neon bulb here. I'm going to lay that neon bulb up against that spark tower and you'll see the high voltage. You'll also see the spark and perhaps hear it. But uh, this was uh, a um, demonstration to show you the high voltage that's being generated off this ignition coil. And this spark gap um, it may or may not be a benefit to the actual charging in the charge circuit. There's a controversy as to whether a spark gap helps in the charging circuit or not. The uh, reed switches are used sometimes because they create a spark gap and this just creates a giant one right here. So let me hook this up. I'll show you how it works. Uh, right now it's running, uh, like I say, bypassed. I'm going to connect the coil up here. And there's the spark going right there. Take my little neon. See that light up. And like I say, that's now going from the Bedini SSG through the ignition coil into the charge battery and this high voltage spark here is actually on the secondary of the ignition coil and it's using a capacitor right here to help store up the energy and I don't really know if that's helping charge the battery or not. You'd have to do load testing on it but I do have this uh, big capacitor here that does load up um, with the voltage as that's doing its thing. But I did want to show this today and show this, uh, this high voltage that's going on here. It's almost like a Jacob's Ladder. Anyway, that's the latest for today. That's the latest experiment.